This tutorial is going to be inspired by Sunkissed Dewy Bronzy Goddess. Basically the type of look you would wear on a date on Valentine's Day. Something that would just overall just make you look youthful, healthy, and not too overbearing. So I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial and we gonna get started girl. I'm gonna start off by first applying a tinted moisturizer, which is gonna act as a primer so that we don't have to go for as much coverage with our foundation later. So I'm gonna be using the Bobbi Brown Tinted Moisturizer, and the shade that I use is Dark. And I'm just stippling that on with my nifty little $3 e.l.f. brush, which I adore. The idea or the concept with this look is that we're kind of tricking the guy into thinking we're not wearing a ton of makeup when really we kind of are. So that's why I wanted to layer on the tinted moisturizer first. It's going to add a little bit of extra coverage. I'm going to use the Face Atelier Pro Foundation and what I'm going to do is add just a drop of the Josie Marin Argon Illuminizer and that's going to give the foundation a little bit of a youthful glow. Just a drop and that'll be good. Probably even half a drop will be good for your whole face. There seems to be this rumor that black women can't do dewy makeup. We absolutely can. It's just most of us tend to have the um, oily combination skin types. So we just have to do it right. And as you can see, that Argon Illuminizer is instantly adding some beauty to our skin. We're both on the same page that this is supposed to be a dewy makeup tutorial, right? Right. However, we have to kind of make some minor adjustments because I have oily combination skin. So those of you guys that have drier skin could just put foundation on and move on to the next step. Not I, said the cat. I'm still going to have to set my foundation with a powder because I already know that in an hour, my skin's going to start getting oily anyway. And those are going to be those natural oils. So it's going to look glowy regardless. I'm going to be using the Youngblood High Definition Hydrating Mineral Perfecting Powder because it's an off, it's literally like a almost golden, canary yellow shade works great for dark skin and it doesn't give you that white cast so I'm very lightly kind of like hovering it and pressing it into the skin because I don't want my skin to be too matte but I do want to take away the inherent shine that's already there that is the unwanted dewiness that we're not going for you almost gotta kind of like do double work it's like no makeup but you're wearing makeup see how many oxymorons there are on makeup it's crazy this is why we get paid to do what we do girl and that's gonna help the foundation last a lot longer I'm going to now conceal under the eyes I'm gonna be using the Maybelline fit me concealer because they're lightweight I love the shade range the shade that I'm using is 30 by the way I mean they're inexpensive like who can beat that use your eyebrow as a guideline as to where you want the concealer to stop it may look like a lot but this concealer in particular does not have a ton of coverage, so you can have a lot of leeway. I'm also going to apply a bit of the concealer on the center of my chin, up and down the bridge of my nose, bringing that light back to the center of the face. With our damp beauty blender, I'm just going to blend that out and press it into the skin. So that has been blended to my liking. I want to add just one more concealer. I'm going to use the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. Shade is NW40. Ooh, I almost forgot about my chin, girl. Make sure you blend that out too. Next, we need to use another translucent powder. This one, I'm going to be using to set the two concealers that we just used. My usual favorite, the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. Then I'm also going to apply it up and down the center of my face and into my forehead. Of course, I'm going to use my, for now, usual favorite. I have yet to just really find a bronzer that will trump the CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzer. So I'm going to keep rocking with her. Um, this is the darkest shade I can find for me. And the color that I'm using is Q120 going towards the center of my face with the brush. Now I'm going to groom my brows and the brows are going to be fairly modest. As modest as modest gets for a makeup artist, I suppose. I'm filling them in using Spiked Brow Crayon and this is from MAC. No surprises, of course, my usual favorite. Once the brows are done, I'm going to get started on the eyes. No shadow base, no primer, no nothing, Jesus. I'm using Camel Eyeshadow from Bobbi Brown in a large fluffy blending brush and I'm just taking it and softly blending it all over my eyelid. I'm also making sure to shape my crease using this color just so that I get some definition in the eyes 
without it looking like I'm trying to wear a ton of eyeshadow. You know, like we get it, you're pretty, you're on a date. You don't have to do all that extra sometimes. It's fun, but sometimes soft is nice too. And blend, 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 blend it into your crease. Let me shut up, because I'm the first one that'll rock some purple eyeshadow and rock the hell out of it too. Mm -hmm. You know I will. I'm now going to use uh, my loose color pigment. This is from OCC. It's like a mauve kind of like a mauve icy silver. And I use this color because, first of all, it's gorge. And third of all, yes, I skipped number two because it's gorge. And I'm still using that same blending brush. I'm just very softly applying that mainly on the center of my lid and then blending it out. I'm going to use my 24 hour glide on pencil from Urban Decay. The shade is baked. It's a beautiful gold eye pencil and I'm going to be applying this on the waterline of my eye or if you're not comfortable doing that you can apply it just on the bottom lash line but this is just gonna again add a little bit more sparkle and shimmer to the eye and make them appear brighter and wider. And it's a nice subtle pop of color. You don't really notice it until you're like close in someone's face. That concludes the eyes, but I like doing mascara less, so we're gonna go back to the rest of the face, okay, girl? You always wanna wipe off the excess finishing powder, especially if it's not of your color, hunty. I'm now gonna use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in Dark Deep. This kind of gives a little bit of added coverage. This brings balance back to the whole face. And to me, it makes my foundation look a little bit more fresh, dewier. Currently, all the way obsessing over Magnolia makeup. I've been using the Soul Glow. They reached out to me, they wanted to send me some products, and they seriously have some, Queen of Blending was talking about these, and she was like, they're the best. And I was just like, girl, that's a really, um, tread lightly with that word, because the best. But they are amazing face highlighters and they come in this huge jar tons and tons and tons of product I'm going to finish the look off by applying Bare Lip Fix, and this is from, yet again, Magnolia Makeup. Beautiful, soft, nude pink. So if you get to kissing, honey, you don't have to worry about it being rubbed off. Mm -hmm. 